We are the champions, my friends. Da da da. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. How's it going, guys? I am a the Phenom of Phenom Studios. Boom. And I have finally, finally completed the John Hardesty Essentials of Realism course. Wow, that took me forever. Man, oh man. That, what, what was that, like two months? Jesus almighty. Okay, so a lot of things have happened. I, it was an artistic roller coaster, epic journey through this course. Uh, there was ups, some hard downs, some high ups. Um, and we're gonna get into it in this video. First off, let me start with all my excuses why this course took forever. So I started the course way back when. Uh, I would have to check the date of my last Schoolism vlog video. But it was a while ago and uh, I had, stuff came up, like I had an art event. So then I put off like uh, taking, uh, doing the course because I was doing it daily. But I took a couple, like a day off here, here and there. And then I had uh, this 10X growth conference to do, event that I went to. And then, it, and then I put it off even longer, and then it's like, I'm learning now in life at this point, like, if I don't do something every day, um, like a ritual, then I fall off easily, and it's hard to get back on the train, you know what I'm saying? But I, after I went to Comic Con Revolution a few weeks back, I was des definitely motivated, and I came back with a vengeance, started doing the, uh, taking the classes every day, and, uh, here I am on the other end, so let me show you all the stuff that uh, I was able to accomplish. Man, for, let me tell you that my my skill level has greatly increased after doing this one course. There's a whole list of courses in, in uh, schoolism. I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy to be excited because uh, it's just a great feeling to have to be looking forward to learning something. There's so many courses that I want to learn and it feels good because usually I hate learning and um, um, even though it, uh, even though as as I am learning through these courses, I'm sure it's gonna be tough, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through phases where I'm not liking it at all. But I'm looking forward to getting better because I, I I saw my skill level uh, level up and jump through this realism class by John John Hondesine. So so the first assignment, I don't know if it was the first one, but it was one of the early ones I did a while ago, that, which really slowed me down because I was doing the vlogs week to week, and why why some, why else? Another reason why I slowed down doing the vlogs is. I got stuck on this freaking blanket. Now, um, I was learning soft and hard edges, values, and the John RC gave us a picture of a blanket, and, he, and he's like, here, do this, and that, that thing took me forever. And it was torturous, torturous, oh my god. Doing folds, and the, sh the values, and the dips, and the creaks and values of light and shadow in, in, the, in the blanket is like freaking almost impossible, man. And, trying to get the proportion right it's just I almost didn't make it through that I, I, I wanted to quit so many times during that and I didn't I persevered and um, this is the outcome we have this blanket here um, I, I, I was so proud of when I, when I finished it uh, I, I wanted to frame it and now it's on my wall back there but man it I'm, I was really happy because I'm not I don't know how to make real stuff, in, but this, cor this course was teaching me, and uh, I, my, my stuff is becoming more realistic just because just my eyes are better, and I'm looking harder and, and more precise at things, and seeing the value and, and the transition of colors, and it really helps getting all those little details, being able to see it and put it on, on your canvas, so. I mean, the, this isn't perfect, but I, I see things and like, um, you know, it's not perfect, there's some stuff here and there, but there's there's parts where it's like, dang, this thing looks freaking great. Like a, this one looks, this part looks particularly cool. Yeah, awesome. And now it's on my wall. Just it's it's a sign of just perseverance, and it, I think it came out good. You know, came out good. No assignment previously took me more than a day or two to to do, and that took me two weeks. After that, I was drained and. I stopped making the vlogs, but I, I just now finished it. Um, and let me, I'll show you what else I got. So the course is realism, so he gave us a lot of pictures and we had them copy what we were looking at. And each each assignment had its different objective. But you wanted to get the likeness down. 
and uh, <laughs> this one right here, I, I, as you can see, I BS my way through it. It's really hard getting a face correct. Like it's stressful and frustrating trying to get the proportions right of a face. And this this one, with this particular one, I, I was just going through the motion because uh, you have for each assignment there's a set of videos and then there's the assignment at the end that you have to do. So this particular assignment here, I was just happy to get through the videos because it was one of those days where I mean just sit down, just watch, listen, and just just try. So I just tried. Uh, obviously, this looks like a freaking Frankenstein monster looking thing, but I did it. Better than doing nothing. All right. Then we had to learn about color and and this one. And through the course of these assignments, I was looking at other people's art and seeing how realistic everyone else's artwork is, like on Instagram. I'm like, man, how do you accomplish that? Because I've been using the basic brushes, uh, but I transitioned to like these. I, I downloaded these, these oil paint brushes, but they were so messy. Like it 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 looked cool. Like there's a it looked like oil paint and like messy. Like uh, kind of like old school style, but it still wasn't clean enough. I couldn't make the edges sharp. This brush was like kind of like a sponge, and it's impossible to get a sharp edge. But it looks rough. You can get away with things not looking perfect because in, in in the br brush's nature, things look rough. And if the whole drawing looks rough and it's consistent and it looks, it can be pulled off. So when I when I did these these little spheres here, I was really happy with them. I'm like, oh, this looks pretty real. Like the shadows, the light. Oh, I see. I see how this works. It's just not one point of light at the top of the, of the sphere. There's all these little other colors bouncing it off that, that when you pull far away, you can't really see it, but it makes it it makes it look more realistic. When you get in, you can see all the pinks and blues and colors reflecting off the bottom of the ball, different different values of shadow and how, how soft or hard that transition from the shadow to the light is. If, yeah, if you get down, if you, get all that down, then things start looking more real. Then I did that picture again, but I made all the balls cool colors. I, I manipulated the colors myself. Uh, that was one of the assignments. Uh, I don't know if I did it completely right, but I tried and uh, made everything cool. I did this little girl. The point of this was to make the colors extreme. Um, the, this face does not look like the face of the girl. I tried to do my best, but it's really, really hard to get the nose and the eye, like everything matters. Like if the lip looks a little crooked, the bottom lip looks a little low, and maybe the eye's a little high, low, this, the right nostril is not placed correctly. Maybe it's a little too deep in there, it needs to be a little farther out. Like all these little things will make the picture look funked up, you know? So. This is all right. I, I, I mani man manipulated the colors. I made everything look extreme, so it's like ah to the eyes. Ooh, can't look at that. But uh, I'm getting better. You know, the realism is there. Definitely better than than the uh, last little girl I did, which is the same little girl, but just a different. I did a different angle of her. And through these assignments, in between, I want to do my own personal work. And since I've been going to these events, like these craft show events and these art events. I've been wanting to get more DC and Marvel stuff out there and do stuff for social media. So one of the things I did was this Joker, the circus Joker clown guy. Uh, call it the, the Joker goes to the circus. Uh, I have the speed drawing video of this on my YouTube and Instagram. Check it out if you'd like. Um, that was just an idea that popped in my head randomly, and so I decided to do it. And again, I did I use I did this one with that messy oil paint brush up. I don't, I'm not using that brush anymore. I, I now I went back to the basic brush because I downloaded dozens and dozens of brushes trying to find the one I wanted and none of them, none of them they all suck. I'm not able to achieve what I want and I don't know how to make a custom brush. I saw a video on it, it, it was confusing so I'm not even going to attempt it right now. There's a course that I'm going to take right now at, on Schoolism, uh, Photoshop. So maybe I'll learn how to make, I'm, I'm sure I'll learn how to make a custom brush. I'm gonna get better at Photoshop and that should be good. Also, let me pull it up. I did this Captain Marvel drawing. Trying to bank on the comic, uh, uh, cop, Captain Marvel hype right now. This piece of work I, I did, I, I used the basic brush and 
Just that face, man. I was really proud of that face. Like, that's the realest looking face I ever made. Uh, the colors and the lips. And I'm glad I... <laughs> Uh, before I put the, the whole face mask on and covered everything, it was looking funky and it was, it was difficult trying to get yeah, everything lined up right and the eyes and nose. But putting that mask on helped a lot, cover all that stuff up. And also I did that thing where in Photoshop you put the line down the middle and anything you draw on this side, it'll do the same drawing on, on the other side. So I took advantage of that. Obviously I couldn't do that with the hair and some other things, but... Um, just tools on, I never did that before in Photoshop, just tools I'm practicing. Also did this Cosmic Ghost Rider, which was very difficult, another hard one. But, uh, because every assignment, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's just, it's just experimenting and practicing and see what, seeing what works. And this one came out pretty cool. I love the chain and him flying through space. It's just, it's just too, so far away. I, I want to start making work that's closer, uh, the, the person's closer, I just, I didn't know how to find, put, fit him and the bike in. What I should have done is, instead of it being a side view, turn it, make it like the, kind of at an angle so you can see the, the, most of the bike and him, and then he'll just be closer in the picture. So my last assignment, which was yesterday on Schoolism, I want to do something closer up, so that's what I did. And I made this ace drawing from One Piece. I have the Hasumi Fair coming up, which is like, it's, it's, Hasumi is, is this Japanese garden and they're having a Japanese fair and there's gonna be, I'm gonna be a, one of the vendors there selling anime work, but I need more anime art. So I did this ace and uh, pretty much he wanted, the John Harris, he said, try to apply everything, you know, soft, hard edges. Um, Work your values, set a mood, like be deliberate, have a plan before, beforehand, write it down, see what you want to accomplish. And I wanted to make a somber mood. Um, initially I was going to do a skull, I was going to do a ghost rider because I just, I don't know, I like that look. And I was, th I, I wanted to do something sad, so I was thinking, okay, ghost rider, looking sad, in the rain, smoke coming off of this skull, that would look cool. But I was like, dang, I just did ghost rider and I have that anime fair coming up, I need an anime drawing. So I decided on Ace because he's fire, and then um, I could, that way I can still do the steam. And uh, yeah, that speed drawing will be up on YouTube after I post this video. Uh, I'll probably post the Ace drawing tomorrow, and you can check that speed drawing out. But as you can see, hopefully my skills have been getting better. Uh, the next course, I'm like I said, I'm going to take the Photoshop course just because I use it all the time. I, I might as well know how to use it better because I'm using only basic tools and I feel like everything I do I'm making it a lot harder for myself because I don't know all the, all the tricks that, that I could know that all these other people know. This whole course was an emotional roller coaster, like I was saying. I'm glad to be past it. I'm glad to have conquered it and defeated it. I didn't perfect every assignment. Not everything turned out the way I wanted to, to look but I made it on the other end and I'm like I keep going, keep continuing and keep getting better. I now realize when I'm not doing a class assignment, I feel like crap. I just feel bad about life, I feel bad about myself because I'm not progressing, I'm not growing, I'm not pushing myself. So I like, I have to do this every day. I have to, because it's all I have going for me really. I may, I may not be totally clear on my goals and dreams, but I know it, it involves art. And I know the key to feeling fulfilled, one of the keys is continuous growth. And this, this schoolism has been helping me out a lot with that, and it's just it's just key. I need to keep doing it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm back. There will be a schoolism vlog next week, uh, no matter what. Even it's gonna be a busy weekend. I have work uh, this weekend, but I'm still gonna make a schoolism vlog, even if I can't do every assignment. Uh, if I don't complete every assignment in the course. There will be a video no matter what. So thanks for sticking around, watching the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, please subscribe if you're if you're not subscribed yet. There'll be more videos. I try to. I've been posting almost every day, but every other day uh, at least. I got a lot of videos in, in the back there waiting to be uploaded. So stick around. Uh, please like the video and thank you again for watching, guys. Until next time. Peace out.